This Nasdaq penny stock is on a huge run so far in 2023, having gained over 50% in the past week and over 150% in the past two months. Trading volume has increased more than 5x in the past three days as investors become aware of the opportunity and this could be the beginning of a run to a new 52 week high. What's up investors and welcome back to another video. Today I will be talking about a quest of therapeutics ticker symbol AQST. The stock is now beginning to get talked about across social media as possibly being the next 10x stock play. But there's a few details that everyone is overlooking that I will talk about in this video. The Questive is a pharmaceutical company aiming to solve patients' problems by simplifying complex delivery methods. They are developing orally administered products as alternatives to invasive and inconvenient standards of care therapies. So today we will be looking at who exactly are Equestive. We will look at why the stock is soaring right now and the latest news. I will look at an analysis of the upcoming events and the investor's presentation along with analyst price ratings and technical charts to see what I consider to be the best point of entry. Finally, we will check out the latest financials and I will give you my conclusion on AQST. Before we get into the video, it takes a lot of time to do this research and make these videos. So if you find any value in this, can I ask you to smash the like button? It literally costs nothing, but it helps me out so much. I'm aiming to get 300 likes on this video. Help me make it happen. Videos like this one won't get many views because nobody is talking about this stock yet. I am making this video to give you the opportunity to get in as early as possible, so please help the channel and hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any new content like this. I want to point out that I'm not a financial advisor, this is not financial advice, always do your own due diligence, now let's get into it with a quick overview of the company. A Quest of Therapeutics is a pharmaceutical company that advances and commercializes medicines to solve therapeutic problems and meaningfully improve people's lives. They create innovative drug delivery technology and scientific expertise to redesign important medicines. They have developed a very innovative delivery technology called farm film. This gives patients with complex dosing challenges a simple, non-invasive and more convenient way to dose with no mixing, chewing or swallowing. This technology in time has the potential of eliminating all oral pills, gels, and injections. This oral film could be dissolved on your tongue which would avoid a lot of toxins and would be effective much faster. Equestive has focused on applying its technology to address unmet patient needs in CNS conditions including epilepsy. The company's first proprietary commercial product was approved by the FDA for the treatment of seizures associated with LGS. The company is also investigating Libervant as a fast-acting oral rescue treatment for increased bouts of seizure activity. The key focus is to improve medications and outcomes for patients with central nervous system conditions. Equestive have established a robust portfolio of treatments for CNS disorders and are advancing a late stage pipeline with promising treatments for complex conditions. So looking at the company's presentation, we can see that AQSD have a proven track record with five FDA approved products over 200 patents worldwide and over 10 years of product sales on six continents. There is potential for two major product launches over the next five years and these are for the drug Livenant which has already received tentative approval and the company's lead pipeline acid AQST 109. So AQST 109 is the product that could be a game changer for the company as this could potentially replace auto injectors such as the EpiPen. But there is also significant partnering opportunities in 2023. As we can see here on page 6 of this year's corporate presentation, the company has had many global and regional licensing agreements and product licenses on six continents. So this week, Equestive Therapeutics reported their first quarter financial results and provided a business update. They are continuing to advance development of AQST 109 and have reaffirmed commitment to pursue early market access for Livenant. Equestive also raises full year 2023 guidance and the CEO stated, We achieve strong year-over-year -year revenue and EBITDA growth in our commercial collaboration and manufacturing business, significantly reduced our debt and continue to execute on all our key 2023 initiatives. Equestive is advancing the development of Anaflim, the first and only non-device-based orally delivered product candidate to demonstrate clinical results comparable to auto injectors such as the EpiPen for the emergency treatment of severe allergic reactions. So think about this. This is a huge development, not just for this company, but for the medical industry as a whole. 
Of course, this is still pending FDA approval, and that is some time away yet, but this will be a major breakthrough. Guys, there is a link to this article in the description below, because I will just skip over the main points quickly, but I highly recommend having a read of this. In terms of commercial collaborations, Equestive is continuing to manufacture products for the licensing and supply collaborations that it had established, as well as recently expanding an exclusive license agreement. And the company continues to engage with the FDA on Libervant's exclusivity block and remains committed to bringing Libervant to patients as soon as possible. This was tentatively approved by the FDA in August 2022 and is subject to an orphan drug market exclusivity. Now the financials here are important and I will talk about this later on in the video because there is a couple of important points that are not mentioned here. But it is the 2023 outlook that has created a bit of recent buzz. Questive is updating its full year 2023 financial guidance and updated outlook for the remainder of the year. They have reviewed guidance upwards by about 15% and they are forecasting about a 25% reduction in losses. Of course, this is the first quarter that the company has actually achieved profitability, but I will talk about that more later on in the video when I look at the financial statements and the technical charts. So what do analysts think of Equestive? Five analysts have set 12 month price targets for AQST stock in the last three months. The average price target is $6. The average is 200% above the current price of $2. Looking at market beat, we can see that AQST is currently in the top of its 50 day range and is heading towards its 52 week high. And the market cap of Equestive is now about $114 million, which is still very low in my opinion, considering the upcoming catalysts. Institutional investors here include BlackRock, Vanguard and Morgan Stanley, amongst others, with institutional ownership now sitting at 29%, having reduced a little in the past six months. And we can see that the most recent ratings have been set by Alliance Global Partners and Wedbush, who have both rated this stock as a buy and given price targets of $7 and $4 respectively. Both of these price targets represent at least 100% upside for a stock that is very much on an upward trend right now and be and beginning to get a lot of social media buzz. The stock's trading volume for the past three days is up more than 500% of its normal trading volume, and AQST stock is up over 50% as a result. But looking at this, this could be the very beginning of a big run. Only yesterday, Fentel announced that unusual call option trades in AQST stock, an unusually large block of call contracts in Equestive Therapeutics was bought, with the strike price of $7.50 per share expiring in 196 days on November 17th. The put call ratio of AQST is 0.01 indicating a bullish outlook, while the analyst price forecast suggests 200% upside which we have already seen. Over on Simply Wall Street, they rate this stock as being 5 out of 6 on key valuation metrics, showing the price to sales to be far better than both their peers and the industry average, while they have rated this stock as being 92% undervalued and placing a fair value estimate of $25.46 on the stock. But before we look at the most important AQST financial statements and the charts, if you are enjoying this video then smash the thumbs up and drop a comment below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Looking at the company's most recent quarterly report which has just been released, we can see that they have total assets of 61 million, which is primarily made up of cash and cash equivalents of 27 million dollars. In contrast to this, we can see that they have liabilities of 170 million, giving a quest of a liability to asset ratio of about 3 to 1. So this is never good to see. This is not good to see a company's liabilities far outweigh its assets. However, this is common in this industry because it comes down to getting drugs approved before these companies can see revenues. So for biotech or pharmaceutical companies, I prefer to look at liquidity and the current ratio. So a quest of current assets of 43 million and current liabilities of 40 million. So that means that over the next 12 months, they actually have a current ratio of closer to 1 to 1, which is much better. Although the company is in negative equity of 100 million dollars, again, this is not good to see. But this can be common enough in pharmaceutical industry for early stage companies. Then they have $27 million in cash, so there's no problem here either. Looking at the income statement, now this recent earnings report is one of the areas that I see the most confusion from retail investors. We can see here that the company has revenue of $11 million so far this year, which is roughly in line with last year's figures. 
After deducting operating expenses, this gives the company a loss from operations of $4 million for the period. But after adding other income, this gives a profit of $8 million so far this year and allows Equestive to post their first ever profitable quarter. And this is where there seems to be some confusion. So now looking back at Reddit, Equestive has achieved profitability for the first time since its IPO, indicating that its products are resonating with patients and that it is achieving financial stability. The stock is currently trading at $2 a share and could see a significant uptick in price after the company's amazing earnings report and projections for 2023 and beyond are realized. But if you dig a little deeper into the figures, then things are not quite as clear as this post makes it out to be. So looking at page 40 of the recent earnings report, you will see that 8.5 million of this other income came from patent litigation settlement from biodelivery sciences. Without this, there would have been another loss, although the losses are getting significantly smaller. And this really does need to be taken into consideration. Looking at the charts, we can see that the stock has been rising a lot over the past two months, but then went on a huge run in the past few days. Now the stock did reach as high as $2.40 before pulling back, but I think that this pullback is nearly done, and that if we see support next week around $1.90, then this could be a very good entry point for the stock to continue upwards. So guys, what do you think of AQST and how high do you think the share price will go? Drop a comment below. If you've watched all the way through the video and enjoy my content, then please hit the like button. It really helps the channel out a lot. If you're new, subscribe and hit the bell notification and follow me on Twitter and drop a comment if you would like to see another AQST update in the near future. Nothing in my videos is financial advice in any way and I am not a financial advisor. If you want to invest in AQST stock or not, that is your choice and I highly recommend you do your own due diligence either way. Thanks for watching the video and I'll catch you in the next one.